Hi, I'm Shauna from Infinity Readings. This is going to be the reading for the Aquarius male single for the winter of 2018 into 2019. I wanted to take a minute here just to kind of acknowledge what I've done for this winter season. I managed to change up a few things. I vamped the logo a little bit. I actually got Aaron at Active Dynamics here. Um, he has managed to make my intro for me. So I'm very thankful for that. He did a great job. I couldn't have done it. I couldn't have done it. <laughs> Uh, so thanks Aaron for that. I appreciate it immensely and also to extend for my theme music is beautiful Upbeat happy tunes. I can't get enough. I am now going to his page because it's just that great It's all good gravy stuff. So I couldn't have revamped my uh, winter season Without these dudes around me. So I'm lucky enough to have them in my corner. So Thanks guys, Ixon, great work. Aaron, thanks again, great work. So take care guys, enjoy your season. And Ixon, if you ever want a reading, just hit me up, man, just email me. I will kick in and we'll set something up. In the meantime, take care, have fun you guys, and enjoy the readings. Okay, I used three uh, masculine cards to go over the general areas for the male. <laughs> and then we get into, I get five decks here. I break everything right down in the love and sex side as well. And I have a little Norman in there. <sighs> to break things up and see if we can't uh, alleviate some blocks that you may be having or experiencing or anything you need illuminated to get you forward. Okay, that's really where I'm coming from here. So the first card we get for the Aquarian male single is perfection. So <laughs> this is in a lot of males that are going through this. They're trying to perfect certain things in their life, right? We're talking about the romance side of things. That's very well where he might be headed. Now, um, to the left here, we have power <laughs> and power is uh interesting because it makes me think of the ego right so we got to watch that our perfectionism isn't caught up in the ego because that's destructive right so uh on the right we have balance so i feel like um this man is running off in a direction trying to figure things out and we may have to balance our power source as well and that's highly i get that it's like we're off balance here the balance card he's like tipsy right so we'll see where that goes when we get into the cards here okay so i'm going to dive right in and see what we have the first line here usually depicts where this man is at so the first card we get <laughs> we have the devil the 15 so we may be dealing with a capricorn here but uh you know the power here was really screaming uh ego to me and i feel like that is something but uh, we may illuminate more as we go on. So this man is highly chained to the devil here. He is on the wrong side of things, but um, may have some addictions in some ways that he's dealing with. And this may have to do with relationships in some manner. Okay. So um, the next card I get is the two of swords. So when we have the devil energy here, we're addicted to something that is carrying us forward or feeling chained to okay and that is kind of holding us back but we're not seeing it in that way the two of swords is a stalemate to letting that go we don't want to let that go because that's where um their fun zone is right so that's the whole thing here is we have decided not to let this go but that's the stalemate we're at okay i'll carry on here the king of cups is rearing its head and I feel like that's uh, maybe a sense of emotional overload that this man is sitting from. Now, 
in this deck, the cup that he's holding is like spurting outward. And I always get a sense here is over emotion, too much emotion. What's going on? Um, so next to it, we get the three of pentacles. Three of pentacles is about creativity and using that to enlighten ourselves, right? Looking for a creative side that we can go from. Maybe to reroute us to deal with our emotions. I don't know. Okay. So we'll carry on here into the second line. Yeah, it's kind of a splitting of energies as well. Second line, we have the dreamer's tarot. And we have 21, the world. That comes under the devil. So I feel like uh, this is a cycle here that the universal energy is wanting shut down. There's a stalemate here. We may be um, unable to recognize where it is that we are being led in the wrong way. So if we cannot recognize or acknowledge that, we cannot get rid of it. So that might be part of the problem. But nonetheless, I feel like um, this energy is here because it is very close to being finished. Okay? In that way, 21, the world... It's like, yeah, we can get on top of this and not have it rule us and we rule it. But uh, there's something to be done here. Okay, the two of swords on top of that. We get the hermit card. So I feel like there's an indecision here. And along with the indecision, we decide to back away from things. Okay, get some perspective and knowledge and gain it forward. Maybe to find out where our addictions lie. What is driving us to create a loop? Because whenever we're chained to the the devil energy or i'm saying devil energy but it, um whenever we're chained to an addiction of some sort there's usually a spinning in circles that happens here cycle just keeps repeating and i think this man is seeing this on a certain level and he has decided to not make any decisions back away gain some knowledge and so hopefully he comes to a good conclusion over that now on the King of Cups, he gets the Six of Wands. So that's good. One, it symbolizes we have victory over our emotions and we are reining that in. So that is good. Um, but there's a darkness here with this guy. It's like he has been beaten down. But to no avail here, we have to uh, focus on the victory. So there's a darkness here, and I got that's... The devil's carrying that over the stalemate and it, it lands here on the six wands. It's like there's a victory, but it may not be, you know, we may be winning the battle, but we have not won the war yet. And it's going to be a little bit of a struggle here to keep going. So six of wands is kind of what I'm getting. Under the three of pentacles, which is creativity, I get the hierophant. So that is about... Uh, that may be someone that you want to go to for higher counsel, but it may also be the symbol of uh, marriage and knowledge forward. In this deck, I see it more as looking for, seeking for answers, knowledge forward, uh, but seeking it outside of ourselves. We're going inside to search for answers, but we're also going outside as well. And there's a victory in that direction. I feel like it's more so he's going to figure out the answers outside of himself and wise counsel outside of where he is sitting because the whole problem here is just not a perspective. The whole problem here is a perspective problem. You know, we have a, a wrong perspective. We need to be turned around from someone outside of us. And I feel like he may get that along the way here. Someone of high esteem that he can go to, that he trusts for their opinion, and they'll give it to him and it will set him straight the feeling I get okay so on the world card the 21 the finishing out right we have it under the devil which is basically stating we are chained to something here and we need to let it go and we need to finish the cycle and shut the door on it under that we get 41 which is the well we need to look deeper into things we need to reach and figure out on a, on a deeper level, what is going on? I think we're looking on the surface and we need to dig deeper. And, and the emotions is a good sign here, and especially when they have a six of wands underneath there, symbolizing when we go to the emotional center that we're going to get some answers. And that's a smart move. So there's victory there, and we have to keep that in mind. Now, the well can also symbol, symbolize 
uh, hitting rock bottom as well. Um, and I feel like that may be where this man is headed and why he is kind of uh, verting back. So we got to keep that in mind. So on the hermit, we have 17, which is the storks. And the story is about movement, promotions, about births. It could be, it's about a lot of life changing things that can happen to you. Okay. Along your path. Changes that happen that make your life absolutely change. They're huge changes. Okay. So on the six of wands, the victory card, we have 44. 44 is a magnifying glass. The need to look at things closer. The well magnifying glass, basically the same symphony they're singing, okay? It's needing to look at things closer because we're really not touching on the right things. But there's a victory here when we deal with our emotional center because that's where the root of it is starting. Now on top of the Hierophant, and that's that wise counsel, is 20. And that is a card that depicts social... So things in a social manner, things that happen in a social manner. Now looking, we have to look more closely at how we deal with social situations. Maybe um, the 20 is really um, can be a symbol of people that are in the public eye. So you may be someone that is in the public eye. Now this is under the Hierophant. You may be going to someone who is a public figure to find out some answers. That may also be part of um part of this looking deeper into things i feel this is very personal not so much relational but we'll see what happens here now we're getting into the romance side and the first card i get under 41 is the eight of canes eight of wands and that's about um going forward into uh you know it can signify one night stand and we're talking about the single here so that that can happen um, so if it's a one night stand, we're, we may have had a one night stand with someone that we feel heavily tied to, or, uh, we may be in a situation where we're in a partnership where we feel one person feels more heavily tied to something than the other. Okay. So it basically a relationship here where one person is feeling more than another. Okay. They're feeling a deep, deep connection here. And I feel like it's the aqua male, he is feeling a lot of emotions here and maybe not knowing full well how to deal with it. And in fact, he may have some addictions that he's diving into in order to deal, but this is all part of that, okay? So on top of the storks, which is about movement, we may be in a position where we're physically moving, okay, residents, or we may be in a position where we have... Um, Yeah, I feel like it's just, it's kind of hovering here, that are blanking it out on me. It's its a situation here where we have some life-changing things coming on, okay? Now on top of that, we have the King of Wands. The King of Wands, the Eight of Wands. This guy is usually focused on something that he needs to attain. There's a goal here he wants to attain, okay? And, I mean, if we go by the overall cards here, he's trying to perfect something. So there seems to be no object as to what that is, but I get a sense here that maybe part of it is trying to get rid of a um, trying to get rid of a situation here where he is um, he is you know a, a tied to in a certain way. There's an addiction here. Maybe he's focused on that, and that's his goal, and that's what he's trying to. Uh, focus on perfecting that to a degree that it doesn't affect him anymore. Now, on 44 on the magnifying glass, we have the Five of Swords. Five of, of Swords is about a man who's been through something that has caused him severe grief and sorrow, okay, and regret. There's a huge uh, essence of regret in this card, and uh, that is really what's going on here. Now, this is all under the victory and the emotion and the looking into things. So I feel like uh, there is a need for this man to look into the reason why he's feeling all this regret. Okay. So in 20 here, the garden, which is about social situations and being out in public and socializing. 
Underneath there, we have 19 the sun. So that I feel like this, um, I feel like this man is going through a rough time uh, with depression and having to deal with a certain situation. I feel like he may be uh, addicted to some, some kind of substance or uh, liquid of some sort. And he is really getting into the gear here where he may be having uh, a one night stands or whatnot and feeling deep emotions, but covering it up with the, the addiction. Okay. Uh, and in the meantime, it's creating kind of havoc, but um, they're going, we need to look at the emotions that we're feeling and we need to, and it's highly aspected that we go out socially and, and gain like, cause the hierophant is there, that wise advice or wise counsel to listen to that. And cause I feel like there may be a connection obviously with socializing and, you know, if you're into the alcohol, that's going to be linked. Right. So I'm going, why are we advising this guy to go out? But they're going, no, we need to go out in social situations during the daytime <laughs> and be out and about amongst people and, uh, and their opinions, because this man needs to hear differing opinions than what's rolling around in his mind or in his immediate area because he's not dealing well with that so that's part of that okay so it's a highly aspect that you go out and socialize during the daytime where your addictions are not going to grab you and be out and that will refresh the soul and spirit and uh, give you a sense of um, yeah of refreshment to get rid of some of that depression that that is hovering so heavily through the five of, of swords here okay so as we move into the sex side First card I get there on the Eight of Wands is the Three of Wands. And the Three of Wands, we're going from the Eight of Wands, a one-night stand or feeling uh, compelled to a partner, to the Three of Wands is really, there's a lot of passion here. It's overwhelming. It's consuming is what they gave me. Very consuming. For some reason, this is, this man can't handle this. Like in his mind, I'm getting a feeling like this is the bottom of the well here, this woman, but not in the means like we are not attracted. It's like, this is, this is, uh, somehow this process of being in love and having all these emotions is very, very hard for him to handle. And this is what is causing him this perpetual motion of going out and trying to numb all of those feelings. That's what I'm getting, okay? But it's just love, man. It's just love. Open up to it. Feel like there's something deeper going on here. But nonetheless, we move on to the King of Wands. On top of him, on the sex side, we get the Eight of Wands. That's indulging in and and uh, making our partner feel all of those feelings in the romantical kind of way. So indulging our partner when we can, right? So that's what his focus seems to be on is indulging the partner. Now, we have this Five of Swords, which is all the depression and sadness. What's there? Then we have the Queen of Cups. Now, this may be the partner. Now, did we have a partner uh, uh, that may have been a water sign, so that's a Cancer, a Pisces, or Scorpio, soft, gentle energy, usually compassionate, caring, and kind? Um, did this person break our heart in some way? What's going on? There's an overload of emotions. We're victorious because we are handling it. 44 is stating that we need to look closer. 5 is stating that there's a disappointment. What's going on? High disappointment. It's not like we had a fight or an argument and I regret what I said. It is like an ending has happened here and a fight that I cannot, I cannot go back. So, and then the Queen of Cups is sitting there. Um indulging this man so what's happening okay so the next card we get on the sun is another sun but on the sex side so it's talking about orgasms and being in uh fulfilled in the bedroom and i get a consistent energy here that we are being fulfilled in the bedroom and there's no i mean there's no stopping and starting but there is some heavy disappointment here with the five of swords and i'm not quite sure why that's there okay but nonetheless, it may be because this man cannot handle his addictions and the woman is maybe putting her foot down and saying, we need to get a hold of this 
and he's being uh, feeling defeated in that way because he's not making progress. Because I feel like uh, the stalemate card here that is next to the devil is kind of like, I'm not going to give it up. I've made a decision. I can't make a decision. So that is really um, the essence I get on his side. The partner I feel like is, is, is shown here on the sex side. But other than that, it's really not prominent. So what's going on here is this man is dealing with her sexually, but not in, the, in, in, in any other way is that in his energy field. So he, and that may be part of the addiction process here. When we get into addictions, we tend to only go with extreme things that wire us and everything else that is mundane is kind of gets slipped away. It gets covered over okay so uh the the essence that i get of the partner not being here on any level but sexual and somewhat romantical just says that this man needs to grow into uh reality because the addictions have taken because i've heard this and I, i'm sure maybe somebody hasn't but they say that uh when a person is addicted to any kind of substance whatsoever the, the age in which it took hold is really the maturity level that they are at until they, they stop the addiction and go forward and learn. Because you really have to be unaddicted for quite a while to develop those emotional centers to have a meaningful, fulfilled relationship. And I feel like here, that's part of the problem is this man may have had it go way back where we are emotionally stunted here and we've got a love here that is the greatest love of all but we do not have a clue as to how to deal with it that's really the sense i'm getting it other than sexually so we dive in there sexually and then we just uh snap out emotionally and mentally and spiritually all of that just kind of zoned out we don't attach and that may be causing problems in the relationship to the point where, like I say, I don't feel the partner here or a partner here per se. We may be heavily single, but attached to an energy, but yet not indulged in all levels. It's really kind of, um, yeah, I feel it would be very synchronistic with the, an addictions process because when you are addicted, you are basically very, your energy becomes very light and you do not, uh, you kind of, you know, that's why they call it spirits. It's because they kind of take your soul. They take it away. And you cannot grow and learn and process like a normal person through this. It kind of grabs your soul and, and just hijacks it until you stop drinking. And then when you stop drinking, then you can key back into and learn the emotional centers. And there's other things that prescription drugs can do that as well hijack you from development right for any intention anxiety you know all of these things attention deficit all you know they they hijack things in the system and prevent you from growing properly because they cut things off and it's not a natural process right so it's really what i'm seeing and that's a heavy struggle man for yeah the aqua male he's single so it's going to be even harder yet I feel like there's a woman here in his midst. Mind you, there's there's wands energy, so there's a fire energy, and then there's water energy. But, um, but he's single, so it, it may be a situation where he's not really got anybody. Um, like I said, he's got a tie here to someone, but I feel like he's really resisting it because he doesn't know how to deal with it. And I feel like they have not shacked up. <laughs> is the sense I get it. I feel like he's not shacked up with anybody to a degree where this woman could help him with that addiction, right? And ultimately, can we really help until that person decides? No. This person has to help themselves, and that is the hardest part. And 41 there in the midst, I feel like um, the cycle wants to end. Your spirit wants to end this cycle, but there's not an agreement with you the physical self here you are not in agreement of that you do not want to let go of the fun zone that you have and the illusions that you're living in you don't want to let go of that the emotions you can't deal 
you don't know what they are they're foreign to you and when you feel them you go back to the drink or the chemicals whatever it is and that's and you're fight you're having to find more creative ways to hide it is what i'm getting here and that's why they're saying we do, don't harm it away because that's going to make it worse we need to go out in public and uh be socialized and get get socialized at least right and that'll help uh get us out of the darkness that we we can so easily attach to when we're addicted to something so it's really a rough patch here for the aquarian single not good but uh nonetheless he has not made up his mind at this point is not a direction he chooses to go it's at a stalemate that is better than you know driving 90 we're driving about 50 but we have not decided to make a decision to stop okay so that is the energies there i'm going to go over i went over horizontally i'm going to go over vertically and kind of rip it apart see if we can illuminate some more things here because i feel like this man it's is not really accepted the fact that there's something that needs to go yet i feel like he feels this is okay and all right so that's part of the problem he's not illuminated the problem okay so the devil there he is he's sitting there he's controlling things he's right up front driving the bus and drinking a beer <laughs> that's his that's his fun zone he is there they're all having fun not too much fun but the darkness is hitting here and this man is starting to realize now the world comes on top of that 21 and that is a symbol that we are coming to the end of the cycle of this we have had enough here and our soul needs to grow forward so we need to shut this door because time's up right and then on top of that we get 41 which is the well and i feel like you know this could very well go um bottom of the barrel stuff right because the well can be a symbol of we need to dig deeper which is absolutely true for this male but it also symbolizes that um you know we've hit rock bottom and there's a situation that has that now we don't have the tower here but i feel this is more of an internal emotional thing that we've hit bottom okay somehow some way and the five of swords on the other side really bookends this with yeah there's a lot of deep sadness here that and if we're in chemicals we just can't get out of that it's a vicious cycle the more you take of the chemicals the more you sit in the sadness because when you sober up that sadness hits okay so 41 uh the well right looking deeper into things what do we want to look deeper into eight of canes is about a romantic or sorry a one night stand here where we feel karmically tied or emotionally driven whatever it is a heavy heavy emotional attachment to someone else and I do feel it's for the male. I feel like the, the Aquarius male is feeling it for the woman. Okay. So if he's feeling it, then she's not feeling it. And maybe that's why he is so upset. He's feeling this tie to her, but she's not aware of it. So now he's drinking himself to oblivion because he can't, you know, she's not seeing it. That may be part of it. Okay. Uh, so on top of the eight in the sex side, we get the three of wands, which is the passion and the, the two ties on the leg. It's like, yeah, this is meant to be. And this is a cycle that we got to we got to straighten ourselves out before we can go full long into this relationship and have it work out successfully. That's what they're saying. So there's a certain part of this man realizes this is the challenge and he feels defeated because he doesn't want to give up you know the um the cycle here of what he's chained to okay so on the two of swords that's the indecision to and i see i feel like you know because she's blindfolded as well it's the indecision to make a decision the, the lack of making a decision but also being blind to what to a decision at all that i have to make one what do i have to give this up why I, i'm having fun it's okay you know <laughs> And then on top of that is the hermit. So because of not making a decision, I feel like he has had to hermit away. And that may be his outside circle kind of closing in on him. Meaning I think some of his social circle is starting to get tired of 
what's going on here and may not directly be in his face to tell him why, but they're just isolating to the point where he may be. Uh, but he's also going inside to look for answers. But again, I feel like he's looking in the wrong areas. I don't feel like, I feel like he needs some wisdom there from someone outside of himself to gain the right direction to look for those answers in. So the 17 is the stork, and that is that can be about promotions as well. That's what I was trying to focus on, and it just wouldn't give it to me. <laughs> um, but if we're hermiting, it can be about promotions at work, life-changing decisions. Now, because the cards around it are kind of in an ominous way, I feel like it, it may also be, because uh, it can signify a move, it may be that we have to do these things because of what we're addicted to. So be aware of that. I don't know if it's going to flip that way for many, but that's a scenario that could hit. We may have to move or uh, we may be moved out of a job. I feel like this man actually is not, uh, if he's working, he's not drinking at work. Thank you. Uh, which is good. I feel like he's separating that, but it just doesn't make it easier, right? Because he's just got no stamina for work. But nonetheless, there may be a promotion here where he has the option to move. But this is kind of a good light amongst all the darkness. And on top of that, we have the King of Wands. And the King of Wands is about that focus. And I feel like the focus is we're trying to figure out how to keep our sex life active while we're going through all of this okay and then the eight of wands is that attentiveness in the bedroom he doesn't let that slip that is first on his mind and priority is to make sure that he gets physically satisfied that's the one thing he can still focus on and create results for so there's that now the king of cups and these are the emotional centers and i feel like this is where the real struggle comes in because as soon as any of these emotions rear their head man he is back in the drink going back and we're just going to fix that right away right and uh little does he know the cycle here he's not realizing the cycle so the king of cups is about all these emotions that are floating around now the six of wands is, I feel like the universe going, yes, the emotions, yes, we need to keep those. Yes, we need to explore those. There's a victory in, in figuring out how we feel. That is our barometer forward. The emotions are how we deal. And they are also the red flags. They're every, they're our control center, really, if we want to figure things out. Now, if we lose our emotions and we go and we get drunk and numbed, then we cannot make a rational decision forward in any of the stuff that this guy's searching for. So this is the problem. He is really trying to numb the emotions that are triggering the answers so that he can go look for the answers there. And it's like, no, we're, we're numbing down the soul. I'm not going to feel. I'm going to get drunk instead. And so we're high and mighty in the ways of, of feeling in our brain which is trickery and then when we get in there we're dealing with a whole bunch of stuff we can't find answers to why because our emotions are stuffed underneath all of that uh chemical stuff that's coming through it's just not mixing properly so he's kind of going in there to find the answers right he's trying to uh, liquefy things <laughs> to a degree where he can like pull it out and read it and you can't it just slips through your fingers so there's the universe is really trying to say here man there's a victory in our emotions we need to keep those and not go to the drink every time we're feeling it so on top of that we get 44 which is also saying you know we got to look deeper into that area there's emotions here we're victorious we've realized certain things i feel like there's been certain areas here where he has gotten answers and he's pinpointed things through his emotional center and they're going yes and we need to keep going down that road we need to keep looking into that deeper okay and then on top of the 44 we get the five of swords which is the depression and the sadness that eventually loops because of just that cycle that we're in of drinking and not drinking and drinking and not, or whatever it is chemicals and not chemicals chemicals and not chemicals 
So that does hit, okay? So on top of that, we get the Queen of Cups. So there may be um, a variety of, of areas here where you are getting soothed from your depressive states here by another um, area. Because I've got wands, wands, and then fire here with the sun. So I'm feeling like the cups is an area where uh, we are getting soothed and um, tended to. But there's other areas here where we're dipping into other stuff, right? So, yeah. So does that bring you back up? I don't know. The Three of Pentacles is about the creativity this man has to come up with. He has to be more creative to find ways to hide this, to disguise it, to, right? Um, it's really about that addiction process. I feel like he has to be more creative with it or in a way of uh, trying to creatively stuff these emotions that are coming through. we got to find different ways to reroute ourselves, okay? And also that could be advice too is like let's let's be more creative and expressive in that fashion rather than the kind that's bringing us down. Now on top of the three of pentacles we have the hierophant. Five the hierophant is basically that uh, outside source I feel like he is trying to seek counsel, wise counsel, maybe even older counsel. Uh, I don't feel it's a father figure though. I feel it's someone in the in high esteem of this man and he trusts their judgment and thinks highly of them and he goes to him for when he really needs or trusts. And it could even be uh, someone in the church, you know. It could even be someone that, you know, they just feel they, they're they going to say and they're not going to, you know, it's locked down. I'm going to give this person all that I have and get a, a good solid answer and whatever. And I feel good uh, results will come from that. So there's that. And then 20 is the garden, which symbolizes uh, social arenas, being social, being out. And that's also something that I feel the universe is, is trying to get him to do, is to be out and be social, to not block himself off from public. Just uh, know your boundaries, where you're going to indulge in the wrong side here, then we need to be opposing of that, or opposing to that, not going when we are most tempted. But also, uh, on the higher fent, uh, there may be a public figure here that we go to for the advice. And that being, as well, someone in the church could be very prominent in that way. Someone in the public eye. Uh, and also people out socially, that will help him uh, alleviate some of that depression, depression, depressive, sad states, that kind of thing. So then we have the sun on top of that. And the sun is saying, yeah, go out socially and be with people where we're, we're lucid. We're not drunk. We're not silly. We're just going out and being uh, social. That is highly aspected here. Sun shines on that. We need more of that, those type of connections that are not of the night, right? So on top of that, in the sex side, we get the sun again. And and that's really just saying this man is really grounded with, um, hmm, how do I word that? <laughs> when you uh, have a hard time staying lucid, clear of mind, when we are into substances, it takes a lot for us to remember or ground us into reality. And sometimes... Uh, you can get a male on the sex side and those the, the uh, act itself and the pleasure that comes from it can really ground him out. And that is the most real thing to this man is the orgasms that are happening. That is the most real thing. And above and beyond that, there's not much that sticks with him because it's just a big blur. So he's single, he's living it up and... and if he's on the younger side of things, I hope he gets a reign of this before it destroys things. But I, I get a sense here that we need to look deeper. And if we are having trouble do that, go outside and get some counsel. And that way, that's highly aspected as well. You'll get successful results there. There have been some successful results this man has come to on his own. And it has to directly do with his emotions. He's figured some things out about what's triggering him, about 
things outside of him. But he really does have to develop his emotional center. And in order to do that properly, to be in a relationship properly, he has to let go of the addiction, whatever the phase that comes in. Okay? And this could even be someone who is addicted to sex. Because that's really the only thing that I see registering. It's like the only thing that imprints on this man, sex. Everything else is just kind of, it floats by. It doesn't stick on his energy field. So that's what I'm getting. Again, it's not going to apply to everybody, okay? But if it, it applies, then you know what I'm talking about. So I wish you luck with this process. We are We have a 21 here, which is really the universe saying we can close this out. It's just going to take some work and a decision. And we'll wait it out. We have no choice. We're going to wait it out. You know, that's your higher self, whatever. We're going to wait it out. But this man is really, um, it's got to get to terms with reality. And when you're in the zone where you're in chemicals and that, it's just, it's really hard to get grounded. And that's the problem here. He needs to get grounded. Something needs to ground him. I mean, the orgasms are doing it, but it's only for moments. And then we go off into... A different world right so he has to get a hold of whatever he is chained to in that way whatever is addiction looping process that he doesn't want to stop he's got to deal with that in reality so hopefully he does that in some way and get some perfect like I see over the winter here it's going to be a struggle he does have a soft place to fall here with the Queen of Cups there is an area here where he can get relief in some way but again i feel it's in a physical aspect he really has to develop further in order to be able to get into a way where he can be in a mature the king is there it's spouting off and we have success it's almost like this man does know what he needs to do but he's uh if there's an addiction process just not seeing it clearly to bring it up right it's like suddenly the files are in written in Greek and you can't understand. So hopefully he figures that out. Okay. So to recap here, go over the general energies, the perfection. There's a part of him, you know, as I go deeper into the reading here, I'm not too sure that this man is working on perfecting anything, but making sure he has a physical partner, okay? I feel like that is really what he wants. He wants a physical partner and he wants his addiction and he wants to make sure that he can keep those two, okay? So on top of that, we have power. And this is, yeah, we might be struggling with an ego here and that can throw a huge monkey wrench in everything because that can take over from your instinct, blow your instinct out of the water we go completely in the opposite direction and the, i mean if we have the devil card the first card overall and a stalemate which is saying i have my addiction here and i ain't changing it for no one that's really what's going to rule and the power here he has no power because he cannot control his life so that is the ego saying i have all the power and i make the decisions and da, da, da. but what he doesn't realize is that the decisions he's making is uh to for his life to crumble to bits that's the decision he's made so far now if he goes to his emotional center he can make progress he just has to kind of clear and be lucid long enough to start making uh, and taking actions and gaining more clarity as he goes through. But uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. So the power here is ego and the perfection is I want to keep things the way I have it. And the balance is here. We got to, we got to give something up. You know, we can't have the power and perfection like this. I feel like the power is highly chained to his ego uh, for this man. Be why? Because the devil's right there. He's standing there overlooking everything. Everything. He is overlooking every single aspect of this. So he rules. Not this man. So he's in delusion that he is in control and has the power. It's absolutely not him. 
it is those things that he is chained to that has the power and they will take everything that he holds dear away if he continues to feed it and that is the process here that we hope he will illuminate halfway through but the wise counsel i have a good feeling that when he goes out to this figure whoever it is in public and it may be a public figure or just someone very prominent and respectful to him that they almost look up to uh for pedestal like you know and i feel really great that this person can get through to them you know feel highly that this person is um someone who can talk sense to them they always do talk sense but uh in a matter where this man will uh absorb it in a way and and maybe even take action from it but no less over the season here i don't see him making a decision because i feel like he feels valid in what he's doing and the ego has taken over and said this is my right to do this and i nobody's going to tell me different da, da, da. so that's the path he's on okay so there is uh, through the 17 some glimmer of hope here for advancement so hopefully that helps him bring him forward because there's little bits of success here and there that are filtered through this reading so he really has to make sure that he takes advantage of those points and realizes the um the gift that they truly are in the moments that they come so for the aquarian male single that is the reading pretty heavy stuff he's got to deal with okay so yeah over the christmas season uh, uh merry christmas happy new year stay safe okay be kind have fun and stay safe